Let's head over to the Beko Kitchen and meet two of Heston Blumenthal's biggest fans, Mark and welcome Shren. Hello. Hello. All right, what are we doing today? Because I see that we've got a uh, rather exciting apparatus today. We have, look at this piece of kit here. This is the new 4K by Everjewel, the Heston Blumenthal, the brand new barbecue. So we're going to be showing you this a little bit later and we're going to be cooking a lamb burger. So this is one of Heston's recipes, isn't it? Yeah. I'm excited too. What but look have we got at the, in here? Look at the ingredients we've got in here. We've got anchovies in here, we've got caraway seeds, we've got a beautiful sort of um, creamy mint sauce and some pickled cucumber in there. I'm very much mm. looking forward to seeing how this all comes together and obviously playing with the said apparatus over here. Uh, we'll catch up with your chat with Heston a little, little later on too. You guys were recently at an event with Heston Blumenthal. We've heard a wee bit about it so far, launching this fantastic piece of kit over here as well with the Everjoa 4K from Heston. How was it? Oh, it was, it was amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like uh, a dream come true, actually. And Shreen, how did you become involved in that? Um, me and Mum heard that he was coming to New Zealand to promote them, so we emailed him and asked him to meet up, and he gave us an invite to his event. So talk yeah. me through your experience personally. Um, I got to one-on-one -on -one talk to him, and I got a photo. Yeah, Fantastic. very cool. Fantastic. Why are you a big fan of his? Just everything he does. He's yeah. insane. Yeah, there's but nothing normal yeah. that he is there. <laughs> yeah. It's so, everything. <laughs> has he offered you a job yet? Um, I asked him for one, yeah. <laughs> and he said yes. Good. So, hopefully. Well, make sure you remember us here on yeah, the little I old will. cafe, <laughs> and when you're big and famous, you come back and you're exclusive to us. I will. Not any other TV channel. <laughs> hey, um, let's get started. What's in the burger today? Right, so we've got some uh, beautiful caraway seeds here, and we mm -hmm. just want to dry toast them, so I'm going to pop right. them in there. It turns the heat up a little bit and you can keep an eye on those. Cool. What am I, I, I guess once they light, f turn on fire, that's probably <laughs> yeah. a little bit too yeah, far. A, a little bit less than that, so just when they go brown. Cool. They're already brown. <laughs> yeah, so you'll start to smell it. So I once, once they toast, you, you will see a slight colour change, but you'll start to smell it and that's what we're after. It'll release all those cool. aromas. Right, and now we're going to do some pickled uh, cucumber. So we've got some water in there, uh, we've got some Chardonnay vinegar. Mm -hmm. All I mix. heard was Chardonnay, but that's alright. <laughs> yeah, no, the vinegar, Chardonnay vinegar, <laughs> not Chardonnay. Uh, and then some mint as well, so just get a big sprig of mint and then we'll just, just squash it, just to release all those flavours. That goes in there, and then we're going to start cutting the cucumber, mm -hmm. so you can do that. Awesome. And then we're, we're going to make... We're going to see skills, which will probably <laughs> show you up. Mike. Yeah, well, probably, yeah. <laughs> Young budding chef. <laughs> Shreen, you're training at the moment, are you? Um, not at the moment, just finished school, Yeah. but I have applied for the Sky City apprenticeship and nearly through to the end, I think. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. And of crossed. course, you've got a name that just lends itself so perfectly yes. to cooking, which is hamburger, yes. which we love. Yes. I adore <laughs> it. Okay, so you're doing the cucumber there. Mark, what's going on over here in the bowl? Right, so we've got some lemons here. So just seasoned it up, and the, the salt actually is going to help it bind together mm -hmm. and obviously season it. So we're just mixing that through as well. Um, we've got the toasted caraway seeds, which we're going to toast, allow it to cool down slightly, and then we'll mix through the mince. And then we've got one other ingredient. One other ingredient. Anchovy. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm curious about this, because I just go, oh, hairy fish, I don't know about it. <laughs> what does it bring us? What, why do we need the anchovy? Well, it, it's going to help season it, but it's going to give us a depth of flavour. Right. And you know, and classically, sort of Italian cooking, anchovy and lamb is a, is a brilliant combination. So I think that's where he's, you know, he's getting that from and playing on it. And, and it's going to be great, you know? So it'll be good, to, it'll be good for you to uh, taste the hairy fish and, and see if you like it. I'm starting to get a little bit more fragrance off these caraway seeds as well. Okay, cool. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, so I think that's good. So you can turn that off, let it cool down, and then off. we'll pop that into the uh, mince. Fantastic. Okay, so you're just chopping the uh, anchovies finely. Yep, yep. And then mixing them in with the mince. Is that how yep. it goes? Yep, that's it. So, you know, there's only a little bit here, but I mean, you yep. know, go, go easy on them, especially if you're not too keen on them. You know, I always uh, recommend to put it in and, and try it, try new cool. things, taste it, because it. You know, it's in there for a reason, and if Heston puts it in, you know, you're going to love it. <laughs> we are making a Heston burger on his new barbecue, the 4K from Everjoa range with Shren. And so what are the next steps we've got to do here, Mark? Because I see there's a bit happened since we were last here. Right, so we've made the uh, burger mix. So we've got the caraway in there, the anchovies in there. We've shaped them. So that's ready to cook. We've got the pickled cucumber, mm -hmm. and we made a quick sauce with some creme fraiche, lemon juice, mint, and a little bit of salt. Excellent. So really now let's simple. talk about the barbecue in the room, so to speak. Right, this is the new 4K. I mean, this is 
like you know a chef has designed it well Heston has designed this and you want to see all the uh, bells and whistles what you get with this so you've got four temperature probes in here so you've got two ambient ones here which will tell you the temperature of the barbecue inside and then you've got four or up to four probes you can put in pieces of meat to get the core temperature and of course they link to an app right so you don't yes. have to open the lid lose all that heat exactly when you're cooking and and, and that's the best thing because it links to an app so you can just uh, pull out your phone look at it and you can see where your meat is and you know what the easiest or the best thing uh, about this barbecue is? What? Is starting it. Because I look at charcoal and I'm mm -hmm. going to be honest, I say, oh, too hard basket. Well, so, well it is and then you've got to use those fire lighters and then, yeah. you, can, uh, you, know, you, then you can get that sort of um, flavour through the sort of the, the meat what you cook. So how do you, so you start this one? It. Right, so this is, this is the genius part of this barbecue. So I've got a plug here, so yeah. you plug it in, it's got an electric ignition here. And if you have a look under here, Far out. so this coil warms up and heats the um, the charcoal and gets it up to temperature like super fast so probably even in about sort of 20 25 minutes or so you know so that's how fast it is and how easy it is and you don't need a lot of uh, a lot of uh, charcoal as well you just pop it on there pop it in and then start cooking so you're going to get the taste of charcoal obviously what yep. what are really the i guess it seems of an obvious question but what are the benefits with that i oh, just flavor flavour and you don't need a lot of fuel as well because it's so well insulated and you've got the lid closed it's just going to regulate that temperature you know you've got a little light up here as well as you can see you know you've got full control um, a temperature digital temperature readout you know you've got control with their vents at the top you know yeah. to control the airflow and that temperature to get up and down and you know if you do if you don't put enough um, fuel on there's a little clever nifty little side vent here ah. which you can just open up and they can take these huge tongs and just insert some more charcoal in there so you don't have to lift the lid up and break down all the layers you know right. so it's, you've got full control are you as excited as Mark is for about this barbecue? Very, yeah. <laughs> I know, it kind of says Heston though, doesn't it? Because he doesn't just do meat and three veg. He takes it to the next level and he's done it with the barbecue. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. And talking about levels as well. So you've got this beautiful like really heavy grill pan, you know, for searing on there. And you, you've also got these as well. So you can put these on top and you can cook at different temperatures. So, you know, a little bit less heat there, more direct heat down there. Awesome. So it's, it's every little aspect of barbecuing has been thought about. So we've got one in the car park because obviously we wouldn't be using it inside. So what do we need to do if we come back to these burgers? What do we need to do here? Right, so what we want to do with these burgers, we're just going to oil them lightly and then we're going to pop them on a really hot grill so we can leave the lid off. Mm -hmm. And what you want to be doing as well is every 15 sort of, or 10 to 15 seconds, you want to keep turning it, turning it, turning it, turning it. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the probe in the centre and when it reaches about 60 degrees, we're going to pull it off and let it rest. And that tells us it's cooked and it's just you're just going to build up build up build up at uh, the the, uh, the temperature and the heat from both sides so it's nice evenly cooked awesome hey Sharina Mark happy with the burger you yeah. think Heston would be oh definitely yeah. look at absolutely. that absolutely it's great <laughs>